who commanded most of the attention was the kid, Dermot Brereton. In this feature on Channel 9, Lou Richards took a look at the other side of Dermy. A 22-year-old who's already a VFL superstar, a young businessman with a sharp head on his shoulders. It's that head that seems to cause comment wherever it bubs up. He's got dyed blonde hair, a collection of earrings and studs, he wears bracelets and chains, and if you don't mind, he runs a frock shop. How about his jumper? Dermot's dress shop at Somerville, on Melbourne's Mornington Peninsula, is the home base for Hawthorne's champion centre-half forward. A player who has established himself in four tremendous years as the key player in the best football side in the land. The locals are used to seeing Dermot in the window, fixing the displays and pushing around the dummies. He's in business with his mum, Jean, and while she's his most avid fan, you get the idea that she could do without the earrings and things. If he wants to wear it, it's up to him, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, looking at you now, Jean, I don't think you're too happy about him wearing the earring. Oh, I'm not wrapped. Do you go to the football of a Saturday to see Dermot play? We never miss. Never miss, Lou. And uh, how long have you been following Dermot? Oh, since he was about six. Brereton might be a toughie in some people's eyes, but not to his mum. Well, he's a very good son, put it like that. Placid lad, is he? No, he's not placid, no, but um, he's very good. This is the Brereton that footy fans know. The 97-game veteran who has played in two premierships for the Hawks and who has starred in the last four VFL Grand Finals. It's astounding to think he's played in 15 finals since kicking five goals in his first senior game, the 1982 semi-final against North Melbourne. Brereton kicked eight goals in the 1985 Grand Final in a losing side and holds the VFL record in the most vital match of the year. While his mum would probably like to think of Dermot as a well-balanced, loving son who was proud of the family and keen to do well, there are others around who have different views that could have been champions, for example. Now Dermot Brereton is a hood, Dermot Brereton is a hood. He had an ugly childhood and he'll never be any good. I wouldn't try to tell you as if I didn't think I should. He's your classic Aussie knucklehead, Dermot Burton is a hood. I don't know, I think I've always uh, opted for something a little bit different out of the uh, normal. What about the hair? <laughs> I came out a few years ago, a friend of mine, he's got a the shop on the highway uh, under wraps, he said, come on, and he's one of these fellas that likes to have people walking out of their hairdressers uh, as if they're from Mars. And he said, come on, come down here. And he, uh, I said, all right, I'll let you have a go at it. I don't like staying the same for too long. I like a bit of change and uh, walked out of there with virtually white hair. Forget the flash side of Dermot Brereton. He's going to be one of the great players of the 80s. It's that dog of his that's got me worried. <laughs> <laughs> the 1989 Grand Final will go down in the annals of the game as one of the greatest. In the AFL's documentary 100 Years of Football, the courage of two of the game's great stars was examined. For Hawthorne was not a particular goal, nor kick, nor spark of brilliance. It was the moment when the game's most flamboyant personality, Dermot Brereton, rose to his feet after this attack in the opening seconds. The doctors uh, wanted him to come off the ground, but he wouldn't come, and so we moved him down into the forward pocket. saying to myself, it cannot end here, this has got to be most probably the, the most important two hours of my life. It just cannot end here and I just mentally wouldn't let it end there. His body convulsing, his mind confused, but in the face of one man, the courage born of commitment, the will never to surrender till the premiership is won. It's just the most thrilling thing I've ever seen. 
my heart was just out here, you know, screaming out, you know, go Dermot. There's no myths about Brewer's courage. He was a sensational player, his courage, whether you like him or not. He handed it out. He never ever pulled out when it came his turn when he wasn't in the box seat. Still recovering from the clash, Brereton took a towering mark and goal, inspiring Hawthorne to a great victory over Geelong and writing another chapter in football's folklore.